Thanks. It's a huge honour to be here uh, again with the GBC and GBC Health in its new format. It's a great uh, pleasure. And to be presenting these awards. Uh, you've heard a lot this morning about workplace awards. And there's one factor that has uh, workplace programs, one factor that hasn't been mentioned. I saw in Anglo, as we built particularly in HIV AIDS, the programs, the side benefit of the building of trust. So people had to work together. If we were going to crack these health problems, you have to get everyone, management, labor unions, communities, families, uh, everybody uh, together in the company to work together. And that builds trust. And the benefit of that trust is that Everything else in the company improves. Productivity improves, quality improves, communication improves. So there is a huge side benefit, which has an economic benefit eventually, but, but it's just transformational. So it's a great pleasure to be here to present the awards. Now the workplace and workforce engagement is one of our oldest uh, awards. It's uh, Traditionally, it's had the largest number of, of applicants. And this year, in order to better reflect the uh, expanded mandate of the GBC, uh, we want to give special recognition to both the historical side and to the new areas. So two subfields were created uh, in this category. Uh, in, the first, a spirit of continuous improvement and innovation, which has informed the programs over the years in the heritage subfield, what you might call the heritage subfield, which has a special focus on HIV, AIDS, TB, and malaria, the traditional core ac activity. While in the general subfield, we've attracted applicants with exciting approaches to new health concerns, uh, non-communicable non diseases, as well as more holistic and comprehensive programs, which we've heard a lot about uh, this morning. Now, the commended uh, company and the special focus uh, on HIV, AIDS, TB, or malaria subfield sought not only to prevent uh, infections in its workforce, but also to help those who were already infected to manage and live with their disease and live uh, positively. Now, they're not here this morning, but I'd like to give congratulations to Mabati Rolling Mills of South Africa for its comprehensive workplace and uh, community program. As I say, although they're not here today, it's a long way from South Africa, so we can applaud them for their achievements in their absence. Now, responding to high malaria prevalence uh, among its employees and their, in their communities, the winning company in this subfield has developed an exceptionally comprehensive and coordinated, multifaceted approach, uh, the first of its kind in the Democratic Republic of Congo, which we all know is not the easiest place of the world to work in. The program covers an estimated population of 137,000 people, many of them in underserved and remote areas. And since the inception of the program in late 2007, malaria incidence among employees has been reduced by 66%, and among children in the community by 47%. So I'm very proud to announce that the winner of the special focus on HIV, AIDS, TB, and malaria subfield of the workplace and workforce engagement category is Freeport, Moran, Copper, and Gold.
The program is designed around four major pillars um, and it's to make it a comprehensive integrated program and that includes um, treatment and diagnosis, um, uh, indoor residual spraying of, uh, of walls for vector control, uh, community health education which includes promotion of bed nets and another thing that we do here is, is drainage uh, control through all of the different villages uh, that we have to, to eliminate uh, mosquito breeding in, in, in these communities. So congratulations to Freeport for that uh, fantastic integrated malaria control program. And representing Freeport today is Dr. Dr. Morrison Bethea, Chief Medical Officer. Congratulations. Thank you, Sir Mark. I would also like to thank the Global Business Coalition and the awards committee for this recommendation. I would be remiss if I did not acknowledge Dr. Michael Bangs, who is the architect of our malaria program in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, Dr. Miles Neri, Group Medical Director for International SOS, who is our partner in health, and Sherry Knetz of Freeport's Director of Community and Social Services. Freeport McMoran is a global natural resource company mining cobalt, copper, gold, and molybdenum. Jim Bob Moffitt, Freeport's founder and chairman, strongly believes that his company's most valuable natural resource is its people. And if he takes care of his people, he will maximize his resources in the ground. It is this philosophy which has directed us to develop programs like the one for which we are honored today. Again, I would like on behalf of the entire Freeport organization and International SOS, our partner in health, to thank you for this wonderful recognition and honor. The commended programs in the general subfield are all impressive for very different reasons. Comprehensiveness, innovation, and a rigorously evidence-based approach. And GBC Health proudly commends Safeway for its employee care program, Vale for their chemical dependency program and treatment program, and Volkswagen South Africa for their workplace health and wellness program. And I'd like to invite the representatives of the commended companies to join me on stage. Sean Loveling of Safeway, Jennifer Hooper of Vale, and Dr. Alex Govinda of Volkswagen, South Africa.
I think if uh, I've just been reminded that I should say that if there are any other representatives of those companies, because we all know that there uh, is a tremendous amount of uh, work done throughout the company, let's get them to stand up and give them a round of applause. Anyone else from those companies? From No? I can't believe that they're, they're all just too bashful. Now, the leading cause of death worldwide is uh, cardiovascular disease, and that's become an urgent problem, and one specially well suited for a workplace pro program. The winning company in the general subfield of uh, cardiovascular addresses cardiovascular with an enterprise-wide program, health program, that is centralized to efficiently service an enormous global organization and yet is personalized to ensure that interventions are culturally, locally, and workplace uh, appropriate. We heard some of that uh, earlier. This innovative and comprehensive approach has already yielded huge health benefits uh, for tens of thousands of employees right across the globe. So, it's an enormous pleasure to congratulate Chevron, the winner of the 2012 uh, General Workplace Workforce Engagement, for their workplace program on cardiovascular health. And representing Chevron is Manager of Global Medical Operations, Dr. Huma Abassi, and I'd like to welcome her to the stage. And any other representatives of Chevron to be So, first of all, I'd like to acknowledge and thank GBC for recognizing our efforts around cardiovascular disease and really been becoming a partner for, against the fight against cardiovascular disease. I also want to recognize here my associate manager in health and productivity, Janice Davis-Street, and her team who has really put in day and night's work in making our program successful, whether it's reaching out to the clinicians and physicians around the world who've uh, made this program successful, making it fit for purpose, and really a sus sustainable program that works for 60,000 employees in the company. Up until today, Janice, please come here. <laughs> I can't stand in here without sharing the stage with you. This program has touched upon 11,000 lives in our company and we are still making progress, so thank you very much. <laughs> 